freeze for a second. Oh. Oh, it was optional, so I didn't do it. Oh, okay. This is something else I did mean to ask you actually that I um, in so people often answer questionnaires rather subjectively but we're asking a very simple straight list of symptoms yes or no shortness of breath muscle pain headache fever uh, loss of taste those kinds of symptoms and if they're just anxious or it's due to allergy we will see a different combination of those symptoms together and they won't fit with a general pattern around them. So they won't be like an infectious disease. And that will be very clear once we get the maps of the disease to completely separate them. So with that data, we'll be able to say, if you've got this combination of symptoms, don't worry. If you've got these, um, they are a sign of the disease. For all we know, the disease is mutating. There might be different strains there. Each individual uh, race or group might be responding differently to it. People on different diets might be responding differently. People on different drugs. So I think we've got to just keep an open mind and not be arrogant and think we re can really understand this. And it's what's clear is that just the two classic uh, symptoms, which are certainly classic, the fever and the uh, dry, persistent cough, are certainly just one end of the spectrum. There's many people in clusters that we're seeing just so far that are showing much more minor symptoms on a much larger scale. So the issue is we don't have enough testing, and as a result, we don't really know what's going on until people get really sick and come to the hospitals. However, in fact, lots of people are feeling these symptoms long before a few of them become very sick. And so what this app allows is for everybody to actually contribute, even though many of us, you know, like myself, are at home, by sharing those symptoms, and so we can get 7 to 14 days ahead and start to understand what's going on. And as the, uh, the software becomes smarter, start to distinguish between the symptoms uh, for particular individuals which are likely to be a big problem and those which are gonna be fine. If we want to have a good understanding of what's going on in a population, we really need at least 10% of the people there to be sharing this information. And the more that we want to understand uh, what's happening with particular groups, then we need to make sure those groups are participating. And so the good news is we can get a, a very good picture in a particular region by getting lots of people in that region to participate. But if you really want to understand what's, uh, what's going on, we need you to convince you know, your friends and everybody else to also use this app so that we get enough enough of a picture. No, si si obliqui. Ma si si to. Questo carazzo. No, diverte per là. Eh,
vista c'è qualcuno che addirittura deve magari provvedere by getting their up to date very cheap results of whether they've got had the virus or not we can link that to all their previous data we've been collecting for 25 years so we'll know exactly their gene sequence we'll know their immune status we know their state of their gut microbiome and you link that immediately back to those things so you can do a study in a, a few weeks that normally would take you years so it's it's trying to do things fast is what we're, we're trying to do there we go yep